What's up everybody? Bonnie here. Welcome back to yet another video. It's good to have you. Today we're gonna be fishing live bait. First of all, we're gonna load up this uh, this bait bucket here. Look at this. This is actually a 20 gallon trash can. We're gonna load this up with water right here. Easy for me to access instead of having to carry this all the way down to the beach, load it up with water and like struggle carrying this thing back to the truck. You know what I mean? So we're gonna load this up with water and then head to the pier, get some bait and then uh, crush snook, man. That's the target of species today, snook fishing. Let's get to it. Man, this thing must weigh like freaking over 100 pounds. <laughs> Full of water, literally. This truck's gonna get so rusted. It's all right though, it's gonna be okay. All right, let's go get some bait, man. What's up guys, we just got to the pier and uh, we're gonna load up with thread fins, man. I've been getting thread fins about that big, probably five five inches. Good size for, uh, for snook fishing. You want them? You want? You guys want these? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need to get some water in my bucket so you guys can have them. You want some, man? Oh no, we got plenty. Thank oh, you. Oh, cool. All right, guys. Uh, we just loaded up on bait. It, it got way too hot this afternoon. So we took a little bit of break, but we're back out here and we loaded up on thread fins. We got like a couple dozen. Uh, we're gonna take these to one of the spots and hopefully get onto some snook. It broke me off. It came off. Damn. He took that bait, man. That was a snook for sure. I'm gonna go throw another bait on. Oh yeah. He is gonna get whacked, man. Gotta love fishing with thread fin. There it is, there's a fish. Finally, about time. Come on, jump, baby. Jump. He's decent. He's not that big, man. He's in the current, that's why he's fighting so hard. All right. We can probably just pull this guy up. He's not too big. Troll car, man. This is becoming my favorite hook right here. Good stuff. Awesome. Pretty cool little dude. Line cider, man. It's always a blast catching these guys. And these guys get up to be like 50 pounds. 50 pounds. 20, 30 pounds. 50 inches. Probably bigger than that, but solid. Pretty cool little fish. All right, see you, buddy. What's up, guys? I think I had a snook following this this uh, this bait fish I have down there. He probably wasn't too big, but it was definitely a snook, man. He was getting so nervous. You can feel it when they when the bait's getting nervous. You can feel them just like tapping, and you can feel the vibration through the line and like the the, uh, the rod tip. There's a fish, baby. I don't know what it is though. Might be a redfish. Yes! Don't know what it is, man. He's not, he's not fighting like a um, stale cat. <laughs> About time. Chris Green Rod. That's a good fish. He's not jumping, that's a good fish, man. Might be a big old red, to be honest. Definitely not a sail cat, man. If he is a sail cat, he, he's huge. This feels like a red fish. Oh 
Oh my god, big boil. Huge boil. This might be the biggest redfish I've ever caught in my life, if it is a redfish. Thirty pound leader, man. Twenty pound braid. Oh my god, it's a huge snook. Oh no, it's a huge redfish. I knew it. Oh my god, look at that redfish. Look at the size of that red, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. What a beast. Full red. On the corner of the mouth, man. Look at this. Look at that! <laughs> yes! What a beauty! He's probably, man, he's probably 32, 33. He's huge. He is huge. Check out that red, man. <laughs> what a beast! That's probably 30 inches right there or more. I don't have a measurement, but he's huge, man. He's definitely over slot red. Probably 30 inches, I'm thinking. All right. We're gonna get a good release on her. This way. That's awesome, man. He choked that uh, thresh fin. <laughs> See ya. What's up, guys? I'm at a new location now, and um, I just checked out the bridge. And man, there's tarpon down there and snook. Let's see if we can't get them to eat. Huge snook, baby. Bring him down here. He thumped that. He thumped that thread fin, man. Look how big that snook is, guys. Look at that snook, guys. Another really nice one. Heck yeah! All right, we're gonna let this guy go. Right down here. Man, that fish swam off strong. Heck yeah, baby. Whew. Man, he thumped it. That was so sick. I switched to the uh, heavier gear because I'm, I'm fishing the bridge right now. And I need a little bit more backbone to the rod and more drag on the reel. This is an 8,000 size reel. I have 50 pound on here. And um, this is a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. Look at that, man, it's fray. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty fray. I, I think I'm out of a... Uh, 50 pound. I'm gonna have to step it down to 30. <sighs> Alright man, we got one more thread fin left. We're gonna have to switch out this uh, this leader. It's, it's fray. I don't want to risk it. I'm just gonna throw on 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm just gonna tie a regular uni to uni. I don't really have time for FG knot. Otherwise, I tie the FG knot, man. One of the strongest knots out there. Alright boys, one last thread fin. Here we go. We gotta make this one count, man. We have to make this one count. Let's do this. Dang it. Oh, came off, guys. Dang, he was big. We're out of bait completely. All right, man, that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Man, the last fish I lost, he was probably around the same size I caught earlier, or a little over 30 inches. Um, he didn't break the line, man. 30 pound line, he didn't break it. The hook just pulled. But that's fishing though, man. Can't always, can't always win, can't always catch them. That's why it's called fishing. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.